Today, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this cage into this cage for this guy. So let's get to it. White-eyed crocodile skinks are native to Papua New Guinea and Irinjaya, where the average temperature is about 83 degrees Fahrenheit with an average humidity of 80%. Being a terrestrial species, you can find them on the forest floor, usually near a body of water. Here the temperature is much cooler and there's plenty of shelter for them to hide from predators. With this information, we're ready to start setting up their habitat. Alright you guys, so to start off this enclosure, we're going to put it on its side and we're going to use the Gorilla Glue method to cover all three sides to give it that more naturalistic vivarium look. Before applying your Gorilla Glue, you want to make sure to lightly mist your glass. This is going to help the Gorilla Glue activate and adhere to the glass panel. Applying the Gorilla Glue can be a bit tedious, however going up and down and back and forth seems to be the fastest method and also enables you to make sure that you get all those little gaps. When placing wood into your background, you want to make sure to have a general idea of how you want your vivarium to look. Picking the right piece of wood and picking the right placement will help the vivarium flow naturally. After placing your wood, you're going to want to lightly mist the surface of your Gorilla Glue, immediately following up with wet Eco Earth. Now remember, the Gorilla Glue reacts to water, so as you add wet soil on top of it, the Gorilla Glue will begin to expand. Your job is to make sure that it does not break through the soil, so you're going to keep pushing it down until it becomes firm, which usually takes about 25 minutes. Once the Gorilla Glue stops expanding and is firm to the touch, you can start scraping off all the excess soil. However, don't get rid of it. Put it in a bucket so you can use it for the rest of the background. That one side's done, we're going to go on to the next two sides using the same steps as before. Now that our background is all set, it's time to add some naturalistic decor. However, we're going to want to clean up this cage first. That's better. However, that piece of wood in the center might interfere with our drainage layer. Sheet moss is a great way to add color to the higher areas of your vivarium. It's also an easy way to break up the solid color of your background as well. Using silicone, you can stick it pretty much anywhere you think it's going to look good inside of the enclosure. Now it's time to start setting up our drainage layer. Make sure to get rid of any moss or any pieces of soil that may have fallen into the bottom of your enclosure before placing your lava rock. Next we're going to add some substratum. Now adding substratum is going to add an extra layer of drainage while also adding nutrients to the soil and it also helps harbor beneficial bacteria as well. White-eyed crocodile skinks are very reclusive animals, so a large fern like this is going to help add extra shelter and covering to help them feel safe and comfortable. Naturally in the wild, crocodile skinks are found near bodies of water, so I use this paint tray because it has a shallow end and a deeper end. However, I noticed that it just kind of pulled away from the natural aesthetic look of this enclosure, so later in the video I'm going to change that. Next we're going to utilize the ego earth that we saved from earlier and we're going to use this to help bury the roots of the plant so they grow in healthy and we're going to add it throughout the bottom of the enclosure. I'm going to add a few choice pieces of cork. This piece of cork right here has a really good bend in it so it's going to be a great hiding spot for the crocodile skinks. Live sheet moss is a great way to add color to the enclosure, but it's also going to help with humidity. White-eyed croc skinks need about 80 to 90% humidity, and this is a great way to achieve that. Now like I said earlier, I didn't really like the way that the water bowl looked inside the vivarium. The gray just pulled away from the natural aesthetic so I decided to take it home over the weekend and touch it up myself. So to fix this water bowl I'm going to use Drylock. That's my tortoise over there, he's an Eldabra tortoise and man is he going to get big. 
Now the dry lock is going to help add texture to the water bowl, but I'm also going to mix some concrete color as well, and that's going to help give it that nice brown color to make it just blend in a lot better. I'm going to add a few layers of this. Now that looks way better, and it's going to blend into the vivarium perfectly. Adding sheet moss around the water bowl will break up the shape of it, helping it blend in seamlessly. A Reptisun LED UVB fixture will help with plant growth while also offering supplemental UVB. Just a quick thorough mist and they'll be good to go in. That is how you set up a bioactive vivarium for wide-eyed crocodile skinks. I hope you guys liked this video. Hit that like button, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video that we put out. And I'll catch you guys next time.